What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. Today, we are finishing up getting planted and we are getting our second state of fertilizer put down. I'm pretty sure he's around here somewhere. Yep, there is the Fiat. Now, what I want to do is once we get this put away, to be honest with you, I think we're going to do some more with this. So, we're just going to place it there for now. What I want to do is I want to go through and I want to get rid of this hedge down here. Now the hedge, no, it's not causing me any problems majorly, but emotionally, I'm exhausted. <laughs> and I've been kind of messing around and I figured out that I think we can cut this without actually having to use a stump grinder. And we're going to try that today. First things first, I need to go through and I need to take the tops off of all of these. So, just a little zip on each one. Hard part's going through trying to find these little buggers. There we go, nice and easy. Take the top off, there we go. And what I'm doing right now with taking the top off is just trying to, there we go see exactly where these posts are so I can get an idea of where we're going to be. There we go. And the great thing about cutting the top of the post is the whole thing doesn't disappear, which is really nice. Come on, come on. Oh, sometimes it is a pain in the patootie. This has nothing to do with the map. This is all the freaking chainsaw. Nice and easy, wait for us to see it. There we go. A couple more to go here. Now I'm going to explain what I mean because I was messing around on my test map, which is Mercury Farms. And I noticed that I didn't actually have to use a stump grinder. The, yes, the stumps were down there, but they're down, down there. Nice and easy, just a little bit. What do we got? Two more? One more? Something like that? Is that the end of the field? Nope, not quite the end of the field. Let's, uh, bam. Is that the end of the field? Yep, that's the end of the field. We can keep this little area right here because I think it looks good. But check this out. Yeah, might as well do this one down here. I think we can get low enough to where this registers right below the ground. Yeah, so let's cut there. Now take it. Look. Look, 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 look. No stump. Yeah. Now, the stump is below the map. So don't take this and be like, oh, it's a glitch, yeah. Nah, I, uh, I still wonder if we're going to run into issues with the workers with this. Nonetheless, though, it's going to make very, very quick work of this and give us a nice, beautiful, clean look. The scariest part about having to sell these stumps is the fact that we have to go to the sawmill. Not uh, not excited, got to be honest with you, I'm not excited about that whatsoever. But we got to do it. Oh man, I think you know why I don't want to come up here. Yep, because of those blue trucks right there. I wonder what oh, <laughs> that is filled in with concrete. Oh, yikes. Uh oh, blue truck. Hey, uh, it's just me. <laughs> We're all good, homies. Empty truck. Where is he? Why is everybody staring at me? Leave me alone. Let's go pick this up. Let's go ahead and get this sold. Can we sell the wood from the back? Yes, we can. 675 bucks. Not too bad. Not too, uh, not too shabby. Let's fold this up and hopefully get out of here before anybody comes back. Oh, hey, check it out. It's the foreman. What's up, dude? How you been, man? So the foreman has said that we need to go meet the boss man. We need to go meet him down by the river. But first, 
which I'm really unhappy about here in that part. What I'm confused about is that we've got to go pick up a bell shredder from the garden center. He said it's in the garage. You'll know where it is. So, why do we need to go down and why do we need to get a belt? Oh, no. You don't think that... No. There's no way they found the... <coughs> cough bell. Down by the river. There's no way. Uh, either way, here we go. Oh, yep, there it is. Let's back up. Let's see if we can hook up. Actually, that needs a three-point hook. No. Well, yeah, I guess we can. Can we turn it on? Oh, can't turn it on. I wonder if leaving that open is going to be okay. I'm sure it'll be fine. Nobody's going to say anything. Oh, this ought to be interesting. I'll see. Down by the... You know what? Just, uh... Just for the heck of it. We are going to start... By, nope. You know what? I already see him down there. Uh, let's drive like we've got some common sense like we don't know where we're going la 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 rolling through here everything's looking good hmm everything's nice nice yeah yeah oh boy there's people out here what is he doing oh that's that's the bale that we put in the water oh boy Ooh. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. There's Frank. Um. It's, uh... <laughs> what, you, what you got there, Frank? Well, Frank has told me some things, and I'm not supposed to tell anybody, but I think I can trust you guys. He said that the police are getting ready to send a diving team to check the area. And that we needed to get rid of this as fast as possible. Now, I don't know if this is going to go in here. Or if we're going to have to do it. I just... Drop it. Nope. Yep. Ooh. Uh... Kind of makes you sit there and wonder, what was in there? Just turn that off. Oh, boy. Well, whatever it is, is chopped up now. Been told that we need to go give this to the pigs. <laughs> that they'll eat anything. Was the words he used. <laughs> See, I'm gonna be sick. Alright, let's see if this will actually let me dump or not. Um, yep, there it goes. Straw is out. And the pigs, cough, cough, will eat anything. Was <laughs> the words used. That's, that's kind of creepy, right? I did, there's something about that that just doesn't sound right. Well, we've got that taken care of. Uh, we've been told to get rid of this. So I'm going to run back to the store. I'm going to see if we can get this sold. Just get it gone, get it out of here. Oh, man. There's something fishy going on here. <laughs> Speaking of fishy, that was a wet bell first off. I can't imagine... How nasty, nasty, nasty that is. But I'll say it again. Pigs will eat anything. Ugh. Now I hear that there is a very, very good return on lime on Mercury Farms. So, here's what my idea is. My idea is to get a trailer. And we are going to buy as many pallets of lime as we possibly can. Just to go and sell them. Hopefully, 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 this is going to work. I know we can sell them. It's just, what are we going to make off of them? We are not, not taking these. Hold on, let me go. Bell trailer. Uh -uh. We're going to take the DPW uh, without extensions. We are going to lease it. Bam, bam, bam. So now we have that. And then simply, we are going to try and get as many pallets as we possibly can now i don't know how well this is going to work but i can tell you that we are going to get at least thirty-three thousand dollars worth of pallets so let's get turned around and let's get these pallets purchased oh actually i don't know how far out we need to be uh figure eight serpentine serpentine and eh, we should be out of the way now into the store 
up to big bags over to lime bags four hundred fifty dollars each so actually we've got lime bags here too right yeah two thousand two thousand that's a that's cheaper to get the big bags you know what the big bags are tough to pick up so at four hundred fifty dollars each actually we're gonna run out of room on there so let's buy eight to start with and let's see how many we can get on there what we have here is 14 bags of lime 14 purchased for i believe it was sixty-three thousand dollars. no 6.3 that's right six thousand three hundred dollars oh slow down slow down gosh <laughs> and it's heavy it is really really heavy the great thing about mercury farms is we can sell lime that's right you heard me you can sell lime now you can only sell it right here at least to my knowledge so we are going to pull up to the unloading bay we're going to try and unload as much as possible yeah there it starts so it looks like we're able to unload uh almost all of them there we go now we are unloading all of them at the same time I think we're unloading all of them at the same time. Nope, these first two are not unloading. Well, you know what? We're just gonna have to do this then, aren't we? Pick them up, and drop them in. I don't think that one's doing. Nope, that one's not unloading either. Bam! Got it. So, what are we gonna make? Are we gonna make anything extra? Remember, $6,300 is the goal. How are we gonna do? I think we've already made more. Come on, not too much further, not too much further. Come on! $11,610. So, not only did we make more, we also paid for the trailer. Well, we paid off the trailer. So, we made about four, uh, 4000 Is that right? Yeah, about $4,300, about $4,300 off of that little endeavor right there. That is pretty cool. That is pretty good stuff. Let's jump in here. Let's go and get rid of this trailer. Bam, bam, bam. Making money. That's what it's all about. So we've gotten an, uh, we got a little phone call. It's from the man himself. You know who we were talking about. He asked if we would taken care of the straw, but I said, yes, absolutely. We sure did. He said, good. Go get me a cotton bill. What? The <laughs> cotton module? Is that what you're talking about? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've already got guys working on it right now, which it appears that we do. Who is working for him today? I was like, that's a check. Sorry. In your way. Keep moving. Keep moving. He said he wanted an unfinished bail. So he didn't want it all the way full. He just wants a normal bail. So what we're going to do is try not to get hit and jump in. Let, let me in. Maybe we should probably work for Frank's Dirty Work. Here we go. <laughs> and halt process. Let's go ahead and unload this cotton bell real fast. Now, the great thing about the unfinished cotton bells is you can still unload them. They're still the same size. They're just not as dense. Oh, I know what Frank's going to do with this. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sure do. Let's uh, let's set that back on a worker. He said only one, so that's good. <laughs> let's go ahead and dump this down. Come through here. Oh, we are tearing this field up too. Yikes! Back up to it. Pick up the cotton module. Now the great thing about these is they load automatically. Just back up to it. Nice and slow. Nice and easy. Bam, 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 bam. Beep, beep. Pew. Bring it back down. There you go. Now it says one module, but we know that this module is not completely full. Oh, wow. Okay, am I like stuck, stuck, stuck? I hope I'm not like stuck, stuck, stuck. There we go. Oh, we are just demolishing everything around us. Thank goodness it's stuff that we own. You know, let's drive this through here. Something tells me this bell's gonna get wet eventually anyway. All right, so he wants these delivered to the sawmill. So, not selling them sawmill. Oh, 
this just keeps getting creepy and creepier, doesn't it? Like, it's, it's not just me. Like, this is severely over-the-top wild, right? This is it's just too much. It's too much. But, regardless, we have it. We will give it to him. And, uh, you know, just try and get on his good side. We might go back and see if we can get, like, two or three more. Just see how many we can get. See how many, how many of these we can deliver to him. Either way, I'm sure he'll be happy. Maybe we can get him some concrete, too. Who knows? Pray for me. Sounds, uh, sounds good, Frank. I, I appreciate you, and, and thank you, uh, thank you for the, uh, 30 grand. Thank you very much. Go, go, go. Get out of here. Well, we were able to get three cotton modules. All are unfinished, so they look finished, but they're just not full. And we got $10,000 for each one, which means we got an extra $30,000. We have $69,150 $69, right now. That's everything. I mean, that's great. That's awesome. And that's going to go towards helping to pay off our loan as well. I thought about trying to pay off another uh, 50 grand. Should we, should we do that right now? Let's see. Let's go borrow repay let's let's pay it off there we go nineteen thousand dollars left and we have a two hundred thousand dollar loan so things are coming along very nicely things are coming along well i'm just really really worried <laughs> i saw the police report yesterday about the owner of spar uh it was a simon phillips uh, nicknamed spar I mean, the, it looks like the place is back open and running, which kind of leads me to question. We've got some eggs. We could probably sell some eggs. Let's see. Let's fly down through here. We also have some animals to uh, tend to take a look at. Let's see. Set the cruise and hit pause. Hopefully, we'll go straight. <laughs> How are the pigs doing? 35 pigs. They've got almost as much everything they need, except for food. Looks like they could definitely use a little bit more food. We just don't have pig food down here. Now, we do have pig food probably at the other farm. So, we might grab this and go take a gander at that. Just to see if maybe we could double what we've got. I know that we're running out of other stuff. Uh, we have been kind of, like <laughs> lack of better terms, stealing from these uh from these abandoned farms i mean heck we're using the pig farm for goodness sake so i think we are oh no too much i think we're rocking pretty well right now uh, like i said 19,000. we've got some eggs that we need to put in here we've got a field of our own that needs to be well harvested as soon as time comes around so hopefully all that will come together very nicely but I think that is going to be where we end it today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, please, 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 please drop a like. It helps way more than you know. And if you didn't, make sure you dislike. It helps way more than you know. And if you haven't already, make sure you get subscribed. It helps way more than you know. And make sure you turn on that notification bell. It's not for me. That one's for you. And trust me, it helps way more than you know. <laughs> so with that being said, hope you guys have a great day. And we will see you later and we've got all white chickens again peace